A question we often get asked, or we ask, when trying to help someone get the right grips or cables is, do I have a pre or post 2017 M or H type handlebar? Can you tell the difference off or on the bike? We are going to show you how to identify which handlebar type you have. It's relatively easy to tell the difference when you have two in your hands and actually when you have them next door to each other. But it's not so easy when you've got one on its own. The B75, now called the A-Line, only comes with the pre-2017 handlebar types. The Brompton Electric was launched in the same year that the handlebars were changed to the new low-rise style in 2017. So the Brompton Electric only comes with this style of handlebar type. When Brompton was launched, there was only one type of handlebar. And then came along the S straight or P, perplexing, not to be confused with the P line. So the standard handlebar became known as the M type. Later came the H type, which uses the same handlebar type, but has a longer stem. Here we have a high rise, or a pre-2017 handlebar. And here we have a low rise or post-2017 handlebar. We're going to show you how to identify which one you have when you don't have them next door to each other. Identification method one, handlebar stem length. The final ride height is the same, but you can probably see the difference. With the high rise pre-2017 handlebars, the stem on the Brompton is shorter and on the post-2017 low-rise handlebars, the stem is longer to make up the difference. Now we're going to measure the difference in the stem length. We're going to measure from the hinge to the centre of the handlebar bolt. I know it's a bit of a twist, but at least it will be consistent. Thirty-one centimetres. And now, the post-2017 handlebars. Measuring the same place, it's 33 and a half centimetres. Identification method number two. Brake levers. In 2013, Brompton moved from the old-style brake levers to these ones, the aluminium brake levers. In 2017, Brompton changed to these brake levers to allow for the integrated gear shifters. You can see the two holes where the gear shifter attaches to. So, old brake levers or non-integrated brake levers means pre-2017 handlebars. Integrated shifters means you have post-2017 handlebars. Identification method number three, the serial number. That's on the back of the bicycle. Here. Do you want to come around and have a look? The serial number plate has changed over time, but it's not the BS number or the EN number. It is the serial number. And after that are some numbers, starting with, for example, 15, which means this bicycle was built in 2015. So it is pre-2017. And this one was built in 2016, starting with 16. Rather confusingly, our 2016 demo bike has got the 2017 low-rise handlebars. I'm guessing it was one of the first off the production line because it was a demo bicycle. And this one really does have new handlebars. Please remember, this is a B75 or A-Line. It has a 2021 serial number, but it still has the old style handlebars. Identification method number four, handlebar grips. Pre-2017, the handlebar grips were shorter and were stuck on with glue, which really makes them very difficult to get off. Look, no bolt. The post-2017 handlebar grips are lock-on. Lock-on means they are fixed in place using a bolt, like this one, and longer. Let's measure them. I caught it. Pre-2017, the handlebar grips were 100 millimetres. Post 2017, 
they are longer at 130, which makes them more compatible with mainstream handlebar grips. Identification method number five, the bar bend, both here and here. On the pre-2017 high rise, you've got a more acute bend than on the post-2017 low rise. It also limits you on the length of the handlebar grips and whether you can have the new integrated shifters on the pre-2017 handlebars. Identification method number six, although it's relatively challenging to show right now when they're next door to each other, but it's the flex. The pre-2017 handlebars really do flex when you pull on them. We'll show you when we're riding, which is why we think it changed to the low rise when the electric was introduced to help with the extra torque through the motor and lack of flex. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the pre-2017 handlebars did tend to flex a bit, especially when you were going uphill, when you were putting pressure on them. I hope you can see it. Identification method number seven, triggers or shifters. They changed their name along with the design. Pre-2017, we had these gear triggers. You don't even need to look at them. You can just hear them. The rabbit ear shifters made a nice pressing noise. Post-2017, we have these integrated shifters. Identification method number eight. The measurement from the bolt to the top of the bend is longer on the old high-rise handlebars at 14 centimetres in comparison to the new low rise at about 10. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we'd love it if you gave us a thumbs up. Now we've given you our eight clues on how to tell the difference between your pre-2017 high rise handlebars and your post-2017 low rise M-type handlebars. Did we miss anything? Or have you got any comments or suggestion? Please comment in the comment section below. If you want to see more of our videos, we'd love it if you subscribed. But now, I'm going to take my handlebars on my bicycle for a ride. And it doesn't matter which one they are. They're all fun because they're Bromptons. So re remember, whichever handlebars you've got, small wheels, big smile. The pre-2017 handlebar. Oh. We're going to measure from the hinge to the centre of the what of my identification <sighs> identification mem 2017 Brompton mu moved moved handlebar grips <clears throat> testing testing one two three go so not 